Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is gonna be on this look that I have on right here and I'm digging it so hard, I'm so into it right now. If you follow me on Instagram, I have done a couple of pink looks over the last couple months. I don't know why, I've just been like digging pink lately. I've been like so into pink eyeshadow. So my last couple videos have been very natural, kind of summery, bronzy, simple looks, which we all love. But it's like, we do that all the time, you know? And I just really wanted to do something a little bit different, a little out of the box, not something that I've been doing so much lately on my channel. And the other day, I was watching one of Jacqueline Hill's videos. Let me pull it up, actually, so I can show you guys. It was like, how to make your makeup last all day was the video that I was watching. But she hopped off camera after she showed how she did her face and did her eyes off camera. And this is like the look that she did. I don't want to get glare. Excuse my broken phone, guys. That's a whole other story. We'll talk about that another time. But she did like a hot pink all matte look and I was like oh my god I haven't done a pink look in quite some time and I've been loving pink and I haven't done an all matte look in so long so I was a little inspired by that so I did an all matte hot pink look and then I added a glittery bronze liner just to you know just mm, to just amp it up just a little more but I'm super happy with how it came out I think it's so fun I also tried out um, the Hollywood flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury um, for the first time in this video. I've had this sitting here at my house for a couple weeks now and I just haven't tried it out and I tried it out today. Spoiler alert, I'm obsessed with it. It's freaking amazing. I love it, it gives such a nice glow. I also tried out a new highlight for the first time today in this video that I was like, whoa, how have I had this for so long and never tried it? It's beautiful. And obviously I go very in depth about how I got this eye look. This is a full makeup tutorial so you're gonna see what I use for my foundation, what I use for contour, what I use for my eyes, just everything, you're gonna see everything. And the eye look is pretty simple. I only used three eyeshadows to create this eye look and the eyeliner. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay guys, so I wasn't 100% sure like what colors and stuff I was gonna use. So I went ahead and I did one eye off camera, as you can see. So it's got like a really nice hot pink, super fun all matte look happening on the eyes with like a bronzy glittery liner. It's gonna look a lot better once we have lashes on and our face on and the under eye done. Like guys, remember when you are doing your eyeshadow, this is like such a good example right now, especially if you're doing like a smoky eye or like a really colorful eye, like something like this, you can't give up so quickly. It's so easy to do this and be like, wow, this looked like shit and just wipe off your face and you know, start all over. But don't like we literally finish your makeup and then it looks 500 times better, I promise. So let me go ahead and show you how I got this look. It was actually not hard to do at all. So I'm gonna start off first with the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. I've used this palette quite a few times, but I've never used it on camera. So since we have these two beautiful pink shades in here, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to kind of use this on camera, talk to you guys about this palette, kind of give you my thoughts because I do have a lot of thoughts on this palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Parched right here, which is like this nice creamy nude shade, and I'm gonna very quickly highlight underneath of my brow bone. A lot of these shades are not extremely, extremely, extremely pigmented. Some of them are, and some of them are not, which is not necessarily a bad thing. They do get a lot of pigment as you build it up. Um, so if you're somebody that's like just starting out with using eyeshadows, or you're somebody that's just getting into like using more colors as opposed to just like your normal bronze and nude shades um, that we normally always navigate towards, this is a great palette because you're never gonna get too much too fast. It's never gonna get muddy or crazy because you have to go in so much to build up the colors that it's really hard to put down too much of a shade. You know what I'm saying? Like you see how much I have to build up this creamy shade? And you're gonna see it also now with the shade Taste Buds right here. It's really, it has pigment, but it's a little on the lighter side. Like you see, you see what I'm saying there? So don't be afraid to really dip your brush into these shades because you're gonna have to build them up. I've actually never used these two pink shades before. This is the first time that I'm using them here on camera, but I have used the other shades, like the more neutral shades and the warmer browns and all those, you know, the shades that we always use. And I did notice with those, I was getting a little frustrated because I'm so used to using neutral shades all the time that to build it up, I was like, oh my God, I have to keep building and building and building and building. Like, can you just go on already? And it was driving me crazy. But I appreciate it with these more pigmented, colorful shades because it really helps me from just putting down too much too fast. So I'm just dragging this through my crease and in my upper crease to kind of give us 
a nice base to blend the other more bright colors into, as you can see. And this look, I only used three eyeshadows. So now that I've kind of got that built up to where I want it to be, I'm gonna switch over to a little bit of a smaller brush. This is just my Anastasia little brush that comes with the eyeshadow palettes. I love this brush so much. And I'm going into the shade Bitch right here. It's literally called Bitch with like four eyes. This shade is a little bit more pigmented than the first shade, so be mindful of that. And I'm just gonna apply this directly in my crease. Basically the same way I applied the other shade, just a little lower to kind of start creating that nice gradient effect. And you can see how much more pigment this shade has and how much faster the pigment's going down than it did with the first shade. So now that we've got that nice and built up and we're getting a little brighter, we're gonna go ahead and apply our lid shade. Told you, this lip look is not hard at all. You just can't be scared of color. You know what I'm saying? And you have to be patient. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. So for our lid shade, I'm gonna be going into the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and going into this absolutely gorgeous, bright, hot pink color. It's the shade Bori is the name, yes, Bori, B-O-R-I, and it has like this beautiful gold glitter inside of it. It's just such a pretty color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a flat eyeshadow brush, pick up some of that shade on my brush, and I'm just going to start to pack this onto my lid, and you can see this is so pigmented. It's so, so, so pigmented. Now that I've got that nice and packed all the way across the lid, I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller blending brush. Let me get in the right angle for you guys so you can see really good. And I'm just gonna go right along the edges and blend this shade into the others. And you're gonna notice with this color, if you use this exact color, that as you blend it, you kind of lose those little gold sparkles. And when you pack it on, you see the gold sparkles a lot. But when you start blending it, you kind of lose the little gold sparkles. That's fine. Once we're done blending, we'll kind of like pack a little bit more on to bring some of that sparkle back. The trick when you're doing this is when you're blending this color, you need to keep it low. Keep it as close to your crease, like in your crease as possible. If you take this too high, the shade, you will lose the entire gradient effect that we've been working on the entire time we were doing this eyeshadow look. And it'll just look like one giant hot pink blob. So now that we've kind of got that blended together there, I'm gonna go back into the brush that I was using before with the shade Beige. And I'm going to go along those edges to kind of bring a little bit of life back and kind of further help to blend everything. You just have to go back and forth a lot when you're doing looks like this because as you add colors, sometimes you lose like a little bit of pigment from the color you had there before. So you're constantly building it up and building it up. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this hot pink shade to my lid. Okay, so now that we're nice and blended out, we're gonna go ahead and do our eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I'll be using the Bobbi Brown Golden Bronze Sparkle Eyeliner. I love, love, love this eyeliner. It's so beautiful, especially now like for summer. It's just like a really deep chocolate brown, but it has like so much glitter and reflex. It's just like perfect. So let's go ahead and do a quick little wing. Bear with me here. I'm gonna try to stay in camera while I do this, but it's really hard to do a wing and stay in the frame at the same time when you're doing this by yourself and no one's guiding you. Okay, so you guys can see how fast I did that wing. That little applicator is the bomb. It's so easy to use. Oh, we let this dry. I'm having a sip of tea. I'm having green tea today, not coffee. Being hashtag healthy-er-ish. We try, we strive. Okay, so now that that's pretty much dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna clean up under my eyes and really just sharpen the outer edge of my wing. And this is so important when you're using, it's so important when you're doing really colorful looks to really do your eyes first. I know a lot of people like to do their face first and their eye makeup after, but it's just, you get so much fallout. And since it's like colorful, it's not even like you can like hide it by like smoking out your lower lash line. Cause like, especially with a color like this, it just makes you look sick if you have like that pinky tinge 
under your eye. The only thing I hate about this eyeliner is that it really gets in your lashes when you're applying it and then your lashes get like really hard. So like it's really hard to use this eyeliner and then not put on false lashes because your natural lashes are so hard and coated in this that if you try to put mascara on top of it, they're just like, like crunchy and hard and they don't do anything. So just be aware of that if you're gonna use this eyeliner. It's a great eyeliner, but it does really get into your lashes when you're applying it. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to our face makeup now. So for primer, I'll be using the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. For the last couple months, I have been loving this primer. It's all I've been using. It's really good and it's really affordable. I think it's like $14.99 or like something like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this And then to further hydrate my skin, I'll be using some of the Pixi Glow Mist. You guys know I love this stuff. It's kind of like the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist in the sense that it's just like a hydrating facial spray that has oil in it. So it kind of adds that little boost of oil to your face and like that little boost of hydration. And even though I just washed my face and did my skincare, that was like an hour ago. So my face isn't feeling like fully, fully, fully just hydrated. My skin kind of already absorbed all that stuff. So. Just a little extra, extra something some. So I'm actually gonna use a product right now that I've never tried before. This is the first time I've ever used this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It looks like this. I was watching our Desi Perkins videos and she loves this stuff and she's like the queen of glow and like this is super glowy. So I was like, oh, thank you so much, I need this. So I picked it up like three weeks ago and I forgot that I bought it and I just remembered and I was like, I need to try it. So it says, for a superstar glow, apply all over the face as a flawless filter or on top of foundation if you want extra coverage. I think I'm gonna try this underneath of my foundation and see how it works and if I want more, I can always apply some on top of my foundation. But it's pretty cool. It's kind of like um, a highlight, I guess, like a liquid highlight mixed like, with foundation. So it's just supposed to give you like a lot of glow. I'm just gonna put it on all the high points. Let's put them here of my face and blend it in and then we'll put foundation on top and see, um, you know, what we're dealing with. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend this in. Ooh, wow, that's so pretty and glowy, I love it. When I watch Jessie Perkins' video, she mainly uses this um, on like her no makeup makeup days. Like she applies this and then puts concealer in all the places that she needs it. So that's probably what I'll use this more for, but I wanted to just like give it a try, you know, try it out different ways. See what's up, it looks really good. Wow, look at how beautiful and glowy that is. Into it. I'm even gonna take some across my forehead. Just to give me that nice all over glow since we're gonna put foundation on top of it anyways. And it's gonna kind of soften it up. Wow, this is really beautiful. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation and I actually wanted to talk to you guys about this foundation because I've also never used this foundation on camera before. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and I know I'm very late to this game because people have been using this for quite some time now. I bought this three months ago. I bought this foundation three months ago and I just tried it for the first time like last week and I really liked it so I wanted to use it here on camera. So it's really cool. Mine's in the shade 3.6 and it's in like a perfect match for me right now. It's really cool, you literally just like pump it right here onto the, oops, well I did it off camera. You pump it like right here, right onto the little thing. And it's like, you have a little tray for your foundation. You don't have to put it on your hand or anything. So I like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. Oh damn, this is actually a little light for me in this exact moment. I forgot that I tanned. I've used this now like three or four times. Um, and I really like it. I just feel like it's such a great foundation for during the day, especially here. In South Florida, as you guys know, if you live in South Florida, it is getting hot. Like summer is here. It is so hot. So our normal, like I normally wear like Armani Luminous Silk or like a L'Oreal Pro Glow. I like really glowy foundations. But during this time of year, when you try to wear something like that, like during the day, or if you're gonna be outdoors, it's literally like you're just playing yourself because you're gonna be a greasy disaster. Cool. Oh, that was just the nurse calling to tell me that the baby tested negative for spina bifida. Yay! So what I was saying was, if you try to wear like a really, really, really glowy foundation in the middle of summer when you're gonna be outdoors and not in AC the entire time here in South Florida, you are literally just setting yourself up for failure. You will be a greasy, oily disaster. We're gonna have to put a lot of contour on and bronzer because 
it's a little white for me. This foundation is just the perfect combination. It's not super glowy, but it's not super matte. It's kind of like that perfect in-between satin finish. So if you're somebody that's dry, that usually goes for more glowy foundations, but have been noticing that it's very hot for these very glowy foundations and making it look oily, try this foundation out. I really, really, really like it. And it's kind of like a medium. It's a little bit more than a medium coverage, but less than a full coverage. So as you can see, like it really cleans up your skin and makes your skin look really nice, but it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look thick, it doesn't look heavy, and it doesn't feel heavy either. I'm really, really, really into this foundation right now. It's really good, and I can't believe I took so long to try it out. I got a lot more sun this weekend than I thought. This is very light on me right now. So now for concealer, I'm gonna do my normal go-to routine. I'm gonna need a little Tarte Shape Tape right in the areas where I tend to have a little more discoloration and darkness. And then I'm gonna use my L'Oreal, I mean not L'Oreal, my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for the rest of my face to further highlight. And then we'll just buff this out. And look, you can still really see the glow of that Charlotte Tilbury product that we applied underneath. It looks so good. So now to very quickly set my under eye area, I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite little combo that I've been using. I used it on camera for the first time. Not in my last video on the video before and I haven't stopped using this combo. I've been mixing together the Fenty Beauty Butter um, Setting Powder with the Maybelline Fit Me Number 10 Powder. I just feel like it works really well. I really like how it looks, so that's what I've been doing. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press this into my skin right here in this area. And I also like to put some right here on the sides of my nose where I tend to have larger pores. So I went ahead and put on my jean jacket and I had a little lunch break really quick. Baby girl was hungry. And excuse the noise outside. They're like leaf blowing out there, like doing some landscaping or something. I don't know what's going on, but it's a lot of shit. So now for contour, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick in the shade 360 Mocha. And I'm using this because as you can see, it's very dark and chocolatey. And as I mentioned when I was applying my foundation, um, my foundation's a little light for me in this exact moment because I got a little bit of sun over the weekend that I completely forgot about. So <laughs> I just wanna darken up my foundation a little bit to kind of match my body a little bit better. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my contour. And this is more of a bronze than a contour because it's so warm. And then after I blend it out with a brush, I go over it with the beauty blender to kind of blend everything out. I'm just gonna fast forward through this really quick. Now I'm just kind of blending it all together. And it's okay if it looks like a little muddy, we're gonna clean all that up after. I honestly kind of just blended this out however, cause I don't want to clean up underneath of it after so I wasn't like super meticulous or like, it needs to be perfect while I was applying it. That really helped with the color. You see how now my face looks a little more bronzed? That really helped. Before I apply any powder products to my face, I'm gonna very quickly and very lightly just set my face a little bit. I'm gonna be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden. I'm just gonna dip into this a little bit and kind of just go over where I applied that contour or that um, bronzer contour or whatever. And on the bottom half of my face, a little bit of that too. I'm gonna go right here. As you can see, I'm really avoiding the areas where I put like that glow underneath of my skin where I'm gonna be applying highlight because I don't wanna mattify those areas. I just wanna add a little layer of powder on top of where I'm gonna apply powder so that the powders that I apply blend more smoothly and more buttery. It's really hard to blend like powders on top of um, cream products because they kind of just absorb. The cream products just kind of like absorb the powder. So just very lightly dusting a little bit of powder on the areas on top of the cream products where you're gonna apply more powder. Does that make sense to you guys? really helps um, with the blending. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using, I'm actually gonna mix two things together. I'm gonna be using a little bit of my Morphe Celebutante bronzer, which for some reason, the shimmery side is like, has a hole, but the regular side doesn't, I don't really know why. And I'm gonna mix that together with my L'Oreal True Match um, powder in the shade N7. This is just like a very warm powder. And again, I really wanna warm up my skin. And I like that this is a little bit cooler, a little bit deeper, so it's gonna give me a little bit more of a chiseled look. I've kind of been in a little bit of a bronzer rut lately, guys. I don't know what's going on with me. I just have not been loving any specific bronzer. I haven't like been inclined to try any new bronzers. So if you have anything you can recommend to me, I would really appreciate it because I'm definitely on the hunt for something new. And then I'm just gonna use whatever left over on the brush and kind of just like dust it around my jawline and take a little down my neck. I'm gonna go ahead and bake underneath of my contour and I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder um, 
Normally I mix together the Fenty powder and this powder when I do this, but right now I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me because this powder is a little bit um, darker than the Fenty one and I don't want to lighten my skin anymore. And I always drag this down to the end of my face. If you don't drag this down to the end of your face, you will stay, like I'll show you now. When you go like this, you will stay with like a line. So you have to make sure that you blend it down so it kind of all like blends together. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. I've really been using this quite a bit. It's this one right here in this little palette. And I'm using my Morphe M500, which is like a nice, big, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put this right here. Even though this is like a bigger brush, I'm not like going all over my face. I'm really just keeping it on the higher points since we already have that nice glow kind of happening underneath of the skin from that cream product that we applied underneath. And I always make sure that I avoid this area with my highlights because I have a lot of pores there. So when I put a lot of highlight there, it really accentuates my pores. I've really been into the temple highlight. So I really like to apply highlight right here in this area. And then I'm gonna put some right here, right over my brows. Down the bridge of my nose, I'll put some, especially on the very tip. Keep it bow. I don't put too much on the chin because I don't like to have like a really shiny chin. This is the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So the colors are really pretty, really peachy, pink, fun. Um, so I honestly, I've never even used these two colors, Sola or Zobra. They're kind of like shimmery. I'm trying to say, is this a highlight? Oh damn, that's a highlight. Let's try it. And it looks like it has like a little bit of a pinky tone. Ooh. Okay. I'm into it. It's pretty bright, pretty beaming, right? Fun. And I like that it's like golden. It has like reflex of gold in it, but the base is like a pinky shade. So it goes so good with the eyes. Okay, cool. But I use Yara, Tao, and Lena all the time. And today I'm going to mix together. You know what? I think I'm just going to use Yara. It's bronzy, it's not too pink. I don't wanna put anything too pink. It's gonna take away from the eyes. These blushes are very, very, very pigmented. So be careful, that's why I'm using like such a fluffy brush to apply, I'm using such a light hand. Okay, so now let's go ahead and wipe all this baking away. Now let's go ahead and work on our lower lash line. So we're gonna do the same thing in the lower lash line that we did on the upper part of the eyes, basically. We're gonna start with the shade Taste Buds right here from the Thirsty Palette. Really load up our brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke out my entire lower lash line with this. And I'm gonna take it pretty low. I want this to be very smoked out, very just like, does that make sense? Does that sound effect make sense to you guys? So now I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the shade Bitch. And then I'm gonna use this little brush from Up and Up. I believe the brand is Up and Up and then I go to Target. And I'm gonna go into the shade Bori, the shade that we used all the way across the lid. And I am just going to also put this on my lower lash line. I'm gonna keep this shade the closest to my lash line, but I still am gonna take it a little bit lower than I normally would. But it's gonna be closer to my lash line than the other two shades were. So then to tie everything together, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Beauty For Real eyeshadow stick in the shade Midnight Marathon. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my inner waterline with this. This is just like a really bronzed eyeshadow stick but i love using it as an eyeliner so now i'm gonna jump off camera for one second i'm gonna apply my eyebrows and throw on some lashes and i'll be right back okay so i went ahead and got on my eyebrows and i use the same thing i've been using as of lately the morphe pomade in the shade biscotti and then i also use the anastasia pomade in medium brown on my bald spot and then i popped on some lashes i originally was gonna wear the Lily Lashes in the style Miami that I have here. I've had them for a while, I just haven't worn them. Because every time I grab them, I'm like, my God, these lashes are huge. And then I went to go put it on and it just, they just don't look good with my eye shape. Like I just have to accept that like really big lashes don't look good with my eye shape. So I ended up putting on kiss number 11. What's new? For setting spray, I'm gonna be using a little bit of MAC Fix Plus in Gold Light. This one like with the golden sheen in it. And then I'm gonna top it off with some of the Morphe setting spray. Today I have the Milani Highly Rated Mascara sitting here on my desk, so this is what we're gonna use. I have lashes on, so you know I'm not too picky with my mascara when I have lashes on. I'm actually gonna take the mascara a little further through the lashes than I normally do, 
just to kind of like amp them up a little bit since I want a little bit more of a bold lash look. I wish I had some of those um, marquee lashes. I love, but I think they're called marquee. Marquee lashes from Ilor. Those are the ones that I wore on New Year's Eve and I loved them, but I don't have any right now. I need to get some. And now I'm gonna put some on my bottom lashes also. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Zobra color and see what it's all about on the inner corners. So I'm gonna go into a little bit of this and I'm just gonna pop this. Ooh. Wow, I can't believe that this is the first time that I've used the shade and I've been using this palette for three months now. And I'm also gonna put some right here under my brows. Wow, beautiful. This is so, this is such a beautiful color. Wow, I'm obsessed with this. I can't believe I've never used this. So now for lips, I'm gonna do something very nude. So I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige and just very quickly kind of line my lips. And then we're gonna try out two new lip products today. I got both these at the Morphe store not too long ago. This is their lipstick in the shade Honey. I've never used this color, but I do have a couple other Morphe lipsticks that I absolutely love. So I know I like the formula. Let's see. Hmm. This is pretty. It's a little darker than what I thought it was gonna be, but I like it. And then for the lip gloss, I'm gonna be using the shade Chill from Morphe, which as you can see in the tube, it's like a very nude gloss. So let's see. Mm. This made it really pretty and peachy. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Hot Sand and put this on top. To kind of lighten this up a little bit because I feel like it's a little dark. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the gloss on top. So this is the finished look, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you thought it was fun and inspires you to do something out of the box and not just our regular old bronze and neutral type of makeup looks. Even though I love those looks and I do them all the time, every time I do a look like this, I'm like, man, why don't I do looks like this more often? As always, if you guys recreate this look and post any pictures on Instagram, please tag me. I love seeing you guys recreate my makeup looks. And please remember that if you have any highlight or bronzer recommendations for me, leave them in the comments down below. I'm on the hunt for a good bronzer and a good highlighter. I've been using the same ones for like a really long time and I'm just like bored. I'm ready to try something new. And I think that is it guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.